Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 12th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the Day and for Big Wind Day, which celebrates the record for the strongest natural wind gust in history on the Earth's surface back in 1934. It measured 231 miles per hour. Now I went hiking last week and there were 100 mile per hour winds and it was crazy. I can't imagine that being doubled plus. Oh my goodness. And wind always reminds me of kites. So I found this beautiful picture of a Vietnamese boat dragon kite. All right, so I'm going to use windy as my inspiration word for the day. Wow. Oh my goodness. We have four fifths of the puzzle. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if we're going to be able to get this in two. So we have a W here, and we have a Y here. And we have an I, and we don't know where it goes, but it doesn't go here, so it has to go here or here. I don't know of anything with an I, Y. So I'm thinking it goes here, right? And then we have an N, and it's not going to be an N here, and it can't be an N there. It has to be here. What is it? Whiny. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's see what else it might be. So W-H-W-R. Those are the two things that I know that blend well as consonants. I don't know of any other consonants that blend with a W. So that's the first thing I thought of was W-R and then W-H. Now the other thing is it could be a vowel blend. So we still have a that's not a word, E, another I, an O, or a U. It's whiny. I don't see what else it could be. I'm, I'm not going to be whiny. I feel like I am being whiny. I think that's it. That is it. Oh, man, what a great starter word for the day. Thank you, Big Wind Day. That just made my job very easy. All right, let's see if we can get quirtle easily as well. I'm going to use my four standard words, fishy, budge, clown, tramp. I have got droop, right? Can't think of anything else that would go there besides another P. D-R-O-O-P. Let me say another O. I don't think another P would work. Droop. And then B-I, bigot. B-I-G-O-T. Uh, it can't be bitog. G can go there. T can go there. I think we got that one. All right. And then we've got D can't go there, but L or G can. Um, guild. G-U-I-L-D. G can go here. I can go here. L can go here, D can go here, guild. And then this, we've excluded the I from a couple spots and the O from a couple spots. The T doesn't go there, so I'm thinking Mo, uh, another M, another T, a Q, a J, like a Mohit but without the O, K, Z, X, V. It can't be, oh, what is that? Maybe the M doesn't go there. Maybe the M doesn't go there. All right, let me just draw it out here. I think I'll have better luck if I do this. T. So I kind of assumed the M goes there. Oh, vomit. <laughs> I think it's vomit. All right. So let's back that up. V-O-M-I-T. I always just want to start with a consonant, and that was the only other consonant on the board. Uh, we have not tried the V. O could go here. M could go here. I could go here. I don't know what else would go there. Jomit. Xomit. Zomit. Vomit. It is vomit. All right. Well, that was a fun one today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.